we up there we are we are alive happy healthy amazing day friends coach eric here and on today's call we're going to be talking directly to you guys if you are a health practitioner a coach or someone who is interested in health and you want to increase your retail profitability the way the uh, online world is, has changed the game now we have more flexibility and more ways to create abundance and impact with some incredible digital franchise ideas and concepts but we're biased we feel we have the most powerful the most consumable form of that so if you are someone who's working in the health space and you're looking to increase that revenue that reach and the impact that you have in your business then i want you to really clue in on this one because this is pretty powerful we're excited i'm here with dr bob rakowski global health expert um, a, a serial entrepreneur and also someone who's been able to smash this edition of our concept um, by enhancing his clinic. So, Dr. Bob, great to have you here um, talking about these ideas. And welcome, guys, if you're joining us here on Instagram. And of course, if you're joining us in our Facebook Entrepreneurs Group. So welcome, Dr. Bob. Great to have you here. Hey, always great. Thanks for the beautiful intro. And, you know, I'm, I'm going to jump in by saying I was at a biohacking conference. I was one of the presenters uh, about six weeks ago. Uh, and it was an audience just, just said, you know what, I want to get better faster. What do I need to do? And they didn't mind spending the money, but what if we could get them better faster by making a simple change, something they're doing every day, something they were loving that would literally enhance every part of their body. And, you know, I've also got to tell you a lot of my friends that are health practitioners, they want a way to serve their patient when the patient's not in front of them. And they want a way to make income when they're not actively treating patients, I'm pretty sure that's true of nearly every personal trainer and coach out there because the pain points are, are nearly universal. You know, if you're not working, you're not getting paid. But what if you could build a team? What if you could create synergy and make the world better at the same time? So I might just just go right bounce and back, back it right back to you. What do you see as the pain points as coaches and what's what's the way to overcome it? I think consistency is king, you know, when it comes, convenience, first of all, is, is king. And I think consistency is queen. Those, those marry together very, very well. So if you can share ideas with your clients, then that's one thing. But an actual idea that's taken on board consistently within their lifestyle, that is a USP. That is a business formula for success. And you know what? Nine years ago, Dr. Bob, I... I I was in a different scope, but I was open to ideas to help my clients and help myself to build more sustainability in my business. Because what I found was happening was you help people get a result, then they don't need you anymore. You know, so mm -hmm. my goal as a coach was to always get a person to a point where they don't need me. And then it's I'm, I'm open for referrals and I, I want that person to be independent. Come back, of course, for further guidance down the road, but get to a point in the relationship where they feel they've got what they need. But there's a problem in that concept when it comes to business, right? Because yeah. if you're not serving, you're not growing and you're not profitable. So I thought, wow, what's this healthier, healthier coffee concept? What is this reishi uh, phenomenon that's being shared with me? I'm, I'm curious, um, is this real? You know, could people actually have something in their daily routine that actually moves them towards better, as you mentioned, without you having to change a lifestyle habit or without you having to remind that person they need to do something different? Because I, you could probably chime in on this, Dr. Bob. You've worked with some of the most elite athletes, people who are sent home to die on the other end of the spectrum. And we all have our tendencies and our habits and you can give someone advice, but it's really up to their desire level to be able to take it on board and be consistent with that. And people really struggle with that. Well, they can, you know, so, so I, I start looking at the, at, at the book, like there's tiny habits, right? I think that's the one where it's said, and you said convenience is king. And I would agree. They said, look, if you're planning on going running, put your running shoes right next to your bed, you know, make it so obvious that, that there's, that the routine is obvious. So you know, how many people wake up and drink coffee? What if they just had a coffee mug sitting out with a sachet right there to add hot water? It doesn't get any more convenient. I can't imagine anything more convenient than that. So we, we have it on demand. And then we start looking at effectiveness. You know, uh, what I have seen very, very simply is when they change their coffee, they get anti-inflammatory benefits, immune benefits, alkalizing benefits, energy benefits, focus benefits. 
And all these are absolutely proven in the peer reviewed medical literature. But I tell people, people don't care what the study says. What does it do in my body? And as far as I know, there's only one way to know, and that's give it a shot. And we give a money back guarantee on our one box experience. So, you know, tell me about your experience. Tell me about some of the people you've worked with and, you know, how life changing has it been and, and how so? Yeah, well, you know what, straight off the bat, Dr. Bob, I, I was curious if, if this was if this was actually real. Now, I, I had only been introduced to you for the first time but with a short video. Um, so I didn't truly know who you were until I, I started to dig into the video. And, you know, I, I was ignorant to the benefits of what Reishi could do and its power and its history within Chinese medicine. So I was curious about that. Um, but I was more curious about the process of delivery system because you can recommend all kinds of supplements in the world, but unless it's in a daily habit, then it's, it, it can be difficult. I believe it's around 10% of the population who remember to take supplements. I would be maybe, part of maybe that 10%. Less. Maybe, maybe less. Maybe less, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my mom as well, she, she was a stickler with her capsules, which is great, but it's not everyone's story, you know? And I think that's a, a bit of a, a, a stopping point, if you would, if you're in the supplement game, is, is, the, is the consistency of usage. And that's where I was, I was kind of thinking, oh, okay, this is the top superfood, the top medicinal mushroom in the world inside of coffee and tea. Now, as, as I wasn't a coffee and tea drinker, I was a little bit less than enthusiastic, but I was intrigued. I tried the green tea in my first cup. I literally felt like I was on some mind enhancing substance. <laughs> I just felt so clear. Everything was in high definition. My, my level of focus just kind of, I, I struggled with focus throughout the years especially since having an immune issue from being in Thailand, got sick. And for year, six years after that, I struggled with my immune system. I struggled with my energy and I couldn't train to a certain level of intensity without getting sick. And I noticed very quickly that my training intensity ability was going up and my recovery was quicker. My sleep was deeper. I was getting leaner, but my focus talked about, that was the thing that was really getting for me was being able to zero in on my thoughts and be calmer within myself. And I thought, wow, there's something really something really to this, you know, Isa, my wife, she had a huge turnaround with her digestive health, my mom with inflammation in her body. And I thought, wow, Warren Buffett's quote then stood out to me. It just kind of, I saw it in a presentation and I wasn't big on presentations either, but when I saw this Warren Buffett's statement, what you do, make it your hobby, what the world does, make it your business. And a light bulb went off Bing, because I suddenly saw thousands of people down every main street that I've ever walked upon, like an army carrying coffee cups. And I thought, wow, what if we can capture that part of the population who are more health focused and more health conscious or people who just don't know they're, they're spending, you know, exorbitant amount of money per month or per year on, you know, coffees on the go. Whereas they could save a fortune and actually have a USP of the top medicinal mushroom in their serving every single cup. I thought, wow, we, we have a huge opportunity here, you know, and, and I was excited now. I'm more excited now than I was then because I realized keep things simple um, and get creative with how you share this with people. But at the end of the day, I think for most people, Dr. Bob, if you are a health practitioner or coach, you have earned the right to make a recommendation. And how difficult is it to recommend something that people already do with just a much better version of it? So I, I'd love you just to share some of your uh, ideas around or, or, or comments around some of the practitioners you've been able to help, Dr. Bob, over the years to make this switch, upgrade their service in their practice, and of course, have more of these testimonies streaming coming in from their clients. Well, I got to tell you, you know, health practitioners, they can either be the easiest person ever to work with or the most challenging because they have whatever mental blocks they have. But, you know, I tell people that if you've got a brick and mortar business and most healthcare practitioners do, there are some people that go virtual and believe it or not, we've got virtual people that are crushing it because when they make a nutrition recommendation, they tell people you're going to drink any coffee or tea, drink healthy coffee or tea. And guess what? That's going to be 95 plus percent of people. And it's automatically part of the protocol. So we have part of that. But we have a water boiler and coffee samples in our waiting area. People walk in and we offer them a cup of coffee or tea. They start drinking it. We say, do you like that? They say, yeah, you know, it's really good. And our comment is it's really good for you too. You should get a box. 
you know, and, and it, it's fascinating. Just our retail sales in our clinic, we're not supposed to make any type of income claims, but my son wanted to see the numbers for specific, you know, just in the, in the last five years, just coffee in the clinic, over a hundred thousand extra in profit. Hey, that's not bad, right? Uh, now, 20,000 a year for, for most people it might not be life changing, but certainly life enhancing. But let's take it another step. When people love the coffee and tea, Eric, we have people coming in to just get coffee or tea and they'll often schedule another service right then and there. So it's synergistic with everything. Now, when you start looking at health practitioners, we say, look, it doesn't get any easier than this. Put coffee in a water boiler, have your staff offer them a sample, give them a money back guarantee. In my entire clinic, 12 years of sharing this product, no one has asked for their money back. But what have many of them done? They have continued to purchase it every single month. And some, Eric, have built multi-million dollar businesses because after they fall in love with it, I say, look, there's, there's an opportunity here. If you want to team up and, and they're almost shocked, you know, you mean I could team up with you? Yeah. And it doesn't matter their background. Uh, and you're a global influencer. You're, you're, you're an actor. You've got notoriety. You know, you and I are walking along the beach of Portugal, you know, and, and people are stopping and asking for pictures, not just because you're good looking and beastie, but you're famous, you know? So you start looking at oh, that and people go, Ah, you're mere modest too, right? But how awesome is that? Uh, and and then listen, you want to you want to be part of my world forever? Why, why don't you at least drink this coffee or tea? Or better yet, why don't we build a global business? Uh, and and it's available to everybody. You know, when you start looking at it, what do we want? We want people that have drive, passion, and want the best for themselves and the people to hang out with. And we've got it. And then the magic of this system, you know, I'll mention this is network marketing. Network marketing has a black eye in some people's eyes. It did in mine. I was never going to do network marketing. <laughs> you know, if you asked me 12 years ago, would you ever do network marketing? No, forget it. Never. I bet my life on it. Well, guess what? <laughs> then uh, suddenly I see people really succeeding. Uh, and it was just a matter of saying, wait a minute, this is too good not to share. Why don't we leverage the way we share? And that's what we've yeah. done. You know what? You mentioned something really important, and I want to highlight this point here. There's a lot of health practitioners around the world who I'm sure have network marketing PTSD because yeah. they've been they've been rudely interrupted. They've been pitched in a way that breaks rapport. Um, and it's oftentimes something that's done unprofessionally because people tend to, you know, want to be over enthusiastically bless them just put something on, on a health practitioner's radar because they think it's good, but that practitioner may not necessarily have a need or a want for that particular product or service there and then. So, you know, I, I think because we have something that's universal, that's accessible and can help everyone's patient or client move into a better state of health in something that's so simple, um, I, I believe everyone has a need or a want for something like this, Dr. Bob, because when you look at what Reishi does for the immune system, what it does for inflammation, what it does for sleep benefits, what it does for recovery benefits and energy benefits, pretty much all of the above are relevant when it comes to the top needs of any good, I say good health practitioner that yeah. really wants their clients to get ahead. Because I, I would challenge them to, to share something or for any of them to identify something you could share with your clients that is more consistent, is more powerful, and within a habit of that client's daily life. Um, you know, and at the foundation of it is retail. You know, if you guys, like I said, I was just joking there with the PTSD, you don't have to build an organization like, like Dr. Bob has done. He certainly didn't want to do that at the start because of the perception and the, the experience he had. But start with just retail. You know, and for coaches as well, if you have a direct face-to-face uh, -face client base or online, online businesses change the game. We're on Instagram here, we're on Facebook and YouTube here. Some one person can just see this call, catch our fire, catch our energy, and just go, you know what? I've got a lot of clients. I could share this with them. It makes sense. It's simple. And boom, start your business from a retail point. And then from there, let it organically grow. Dr. Bob, you, you have what over 28,000 or something 29, franchise partners or ambassador partners? 29,000 plus, and next month we'll cross 50 big 50 million in sales team efforts, wow. which by the way, 94.4 percent 
is reorder. Uh, and there's people like you and I that, you know, we don't miss a day and, and we won't drink another cup of coffee. Now I have to say someone offered me a gourmet espresso and, and I wanted to be kind and, and I took it, but you know what I, would I change my brand to that? No way. Right. Uh, I did enjoy that gourmet espresso. Now I'll tell you what, I felt the difference, right? I could feel the acidity going down. I, I got a little bit of jitters on that one. Whereas you get so spoiled by ours because it's gut friendly, smooth energy, great for the brain and body. Uh, and I'm going to say it again, you know, there's only one way you're going to know what this will do for you. And that's put it in your body. And like you, I, you know, here's what I find about 10% of people feel a, an immediate elaborate difference on their first cup. Then Heloisa, I think it took her about three weeks. You know, your mother, it took a weekend. Uh, and you know, myself, I can't say I, I was, I had such a strong health habit. I didn't feel a difference until I, I had a, a very rough travel schedule, flight delays, flying through the night, bumpy. And I had to go see a day full of patients on only just a few hours sleep. That day I had 12 cups of coffee. My, I promise you, I'd never been able to do that with Starbucks and live to tell about it. I don't mean I would have died, but I mean, <laughs> my, my gut would have been so horrible. I, you know, I, I think the most I ever did of Starbucks was six or seven and my body tapped out, you know, at 12, I made it through the day with great focus, great energy. And when I laid down to sleep, I slept like a baby. And that was the, that was the turning point for me. It's like, oh my gosh, this yeah. is even better than I thought. And I had very high experience with reishi, even before reishi infused coffee, been using it for over 30 years. Why? Because it never does any harm. And there's people that have, we, we could even call them near miraculous improvements. So guys, if you're not familiar with reishi, this is it here. This beautiful, shiny medicinal mushroom, the king of all herbs in, in Chinese culture, but it's very pungent as well. And just on that point, ooh, when you had it in your clinic, before you had it in coffee form, you had it in tinctures, right? And I believe that is extremely bitter. And in Chinese medicine, it is a very bitter tincture. Nobody rebought the tincture for the taste. I promise you that. Uh, and what usually happened is whenever they got over whatever they were dealing with, they stopped, you know? So for instance, you know, maybe they have a problem. Maybe they have an acute infection. I say, look, dose this every hour. Well, they feel so good so fast. They don't even get through the bottle. And, and maybe they come back, God knows when later, and they're sick again. I go, well, I'm going to recommend this. Oh, I still have some. How do you still have some? I got, so, I got better so fast I didn't finish it. Yeah. Now, what if it was in their body all day long? You know, we, we both know from personal experience, colds are far fewer and far less intense than they ever were. Uh, you know, our, our buddy in, in uh, London, Pete Cohen, you know, I mean, in first eight or nine years, he didn't have a cold at all. And that was something he was, he was so driven that he was getting that relatively consistently. You know, God bless him. He lost his wife, but guess what? Reishi continues to give him focus and everything else and, and help him get over those hard times. And I can't imagine anything more immunosuppressive than a, stra uh, a tragedy like that. But guess what? He thrived through it uh, and has been doing remarkably well. So God bless him and Hannah's soul and you know, if you, if you lost anybody, you owe it to yourself to be the best that you can be. And, and let's put it this way. I, 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 you and I were talking beforehand. It's been a very tragic day with, with I, I learned of four deaths uh, in my clinical practice today. Those were four deaths. Now, not my patients, but people that knew people as young as 15 years old, people dying suddenly. I mean, it's just horrible. What if we just went the little extra mile for our health? Would we live better and longer? And Eric, we shared our study yesterday. Do you remember the, the numbers about the mice? One, one group got reishi, the other group didn't. How much longer did the mice that got reishi live in very controlled yeah. circumstances? I think it was, was it seven to, between seven to 16 years of human life? Yeah, uh, it was nine to 20%, which when it translates to human years, it was seven to 16 extra human years. Wow. Uh, and you know what? It's in the medical literature. So if you only did that different and everything else stayed the same, there's indirect evidence because they're not going to do this on humans, control every aspect of their being, right? But uh, wouldn't it be nice if you had that self-control? Uh, and better yet, it doesn't take much self-control because your cravings go away. Maybe that's one of my favorite things with this, you know? Uh, we had one lady, she lost, you know, 50, I think it's 57 pounds over the course of 10 months, changing from a horrible, I shouldn't name Starbucks as, as a horrible <laughs> latte, a less healthy latte to our latte. Yeah, well, you know, you, you weigh these things up and when it comes to the, the cost versus the, the 
the value of what you get. So not to talk negatively about another company, but a lot of coffee that people buy in these coffee chains aren't mold free. They're not mycotoxin free. They do not have an organic uh, serving of medic the top medicinal mushroom in their brew con consistently. So we have all of the, uh, the reverse of what a lot of these coffee chains are offering for, in some cases, a third the price. And, you know, when it comes down to profitability, this is such a, is such a powerful additional uh, add-on for health practitioners and coaches. But it's also something that, you know, you can really add a significant profitable income to your current business because people are conditioned to pay over the top for these gourmet beverages that are in these cafes. So it's a win-win. That person is saving money, their client that is, or patient, saving money. They're getting a medicinal mushroom uh, beverage in their daily routine. They are feeling better. And you touched on something really powerful as well, is the satiation. If we are, and we are, really lacking in nutrient sufficient foods because of the soil rotations and sprays and all these different crazy tactics that are used now with a lot of crops, we have to supplement. But the problem with supplementation is it's the consistency or the lack of consistency. So when we have this inside of this with a huge goal to help more people, you know, with inside a digital franchise, th th there is no limit to reach. And like I said, we can we can focus in the clinics. It's a beautiful place to start. And we suggest if you are a practitioner and you're in any way curious whatsoever or a coach, please DM us with I won't say, let's an easy emoji to send us. Send us maybe a, a a bicep, a gun show, if you would like to learn about adding this to your clinical practice, your personal training studio, your brick and mortar business. Or like I said, if you're a health focused person with aspirations to become an entrepreneur without the huge financial risk, we have got something really powerful. And that is community, Dr. Bob. This is support. It's not just, hey, you get a product and there you're off, you're off to the races. No, no, we, we have, we've been doing this for a long time. We're, we've created some really awesome onboarding trainings and support. We have some Facebook groups as well to help educate people. Because as I mentioned at the top of this call before we went on, education and value is what people are paying money for. Yes, there's a downturn in economy. Things, inflation has gone up, but... It's not that people aren't spending money. It's that people are insisting on spending money on valuable things. And this is really what we have, the purest form of this in the world. I would love you just to touch on the USP, Dr. Bob, two things, and then we'll wrap on this conversation. One is the potency of what we have in an ever-growing market of medicinal mushrooms. And number two is the advantage of being able to work with yourself and your family to be able to support uh, that person's practice or service by having your years, 34, almost 34 years of experience being able to share something this unique with a client base. So I just love you to touch on those two points. And yeah, then we'll of course. So let's that. go with potency, right? So we have two different patented processes, one by which we alkalize the coffee that makes it gut friendly, but it also makes every nutrient in the, in the ratio work more effectively. And then secondly, a patented process for nutrient extraction from the spores, the most potent part of the plant. Uh, and we 15x the average competitor, 50x some, and the closest competitor, we're still 600 to 700% more potent uh, because we get the actual nutrients out of it. So here's the simple fact. A lot of people are trying to copy us. You know, mimicry is flattery. That's true. Companies came out like Four Sigmatic and, and other people trying to put mushrooms in their coffee. God bless them. They're doing a good service for everybody. But what do we have? We have the best. We have the original. We have the patents. That means it cannot be duplicated. And then I'm going to give you a very simple call to action. We support everybody in the entire world of this ecosystem, whether you're on our team or not. So whoever referred you to this replay, go back to them and say, I want better health. I want better wealth. Let's do this. And when you start looking at the advantage of being supported, and, and Eric, I'm going to throw you and Issa in there as, as well. One, you look at your ability to draw in people, your ability to create phenomenal content, your ability to inspire, they're unmatched. And, and then we're blessed to have clinical experience. And you know what? My son brought me into this. Jacob brought me into it. 
uh, and he took a full five years off, a full five years because he met the love of his life. They had a whirlwind romance. They have their third daughter due. And Jacob said, you know what? I think that's going to be our last kid. I'm diving back in. So here's a guy that is, has a brain for systems. And he said, dad, let's make it easier than ever. So when, when you mentioned my entire family, I got to give Jacob a shout out because I got to tell you, he's got a much better business mind than, than I do. Uh, I'm pretty good with, uh, with the health stuff, but he's really good with the wealth stuff. In fact, being financially free by 23, if that sounds good to you, reach out to whoever referred this to you. Eric, I'm going to let you wrap it up with your Thor magic today. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Bob. Well, really, I want to just wrap up with saying, guys, your health is the greatest investment you'll ever make. And adding value to people that truly makes a difference and that lets them get through their day with more effectiveness and at a better state of mind, I believe is the greatest gift you can pass on to people. And even if there's no monetary gain in that for you, we would really appreciate the opportunity for us to be able to help the people that are in your network to feel better. This can be a win-win or just a win, a win-win-win actually, because the person who is enjoying this is gonna be winning also. Um, but there are ways for it to be a win for every party involved. Um, but of course, if that's not for you, then just we would love to connect with people that are in your network that are looking to up their health game because this is so simple. And you know what? When we, we see what we've got with our compat competitive advantages with the purity, you know, knowing my mom is taking spores every single day to help her to feel better and be more cognitively sharp, that is everything to me because I'm not right there. I'm not going to give my mom meals, but I can give her something that she can enjoy in her daily routine. And at the end of the day, being able to provide that for people is, is a powerful service. And we open our hearts, open our doors for you guys, if you're willing to take that step with us in actually reaching those people with something that really makes a difference, then let's have that conversation. So Dr. Bob, great to have you on this call. I know it was a challenging day for you, um, but that just shows the caliber of person that you are, that even though life controls curveballs, consistency of showing up and sharing a message of positivity and hope makes a big difference. And I want to give you a shout out on that one. So guys, Eric, we'll I, see I want, to, I, want to, I want to piggyback on that real quick. Go for Listen, it. Listen, if you're ever having a bad day, make someone else's day. It would absolutely make my day if you reached out to whoever got some of our ratio infused coffee and sent me a message back saying, you know what? Uh, thank you. Thank you. This is good for me and our world. So thank you for that, Eric, always. Awesome. No, you got it, Dr. Bob. Just the last point. Tuesday, we will be circling back around to another Ask the Doctor health call. So if any of you health practitioners or guys just dropped in, you're not, not in the health space, are interested to learn about improving your own health, then please keep an eye on our stories for our next week's call. It's going to be very, very informative. And you guys get to learn more about what we're doing with this particular business and also particularly with Reishi itself. So Dr. Bob, thank you so much, guys. Thank you always for tuning in. Please drop us that bicep gun if you would like to learn more by adding this to your business. And let's keep that absolutely rocking forward, impacting those 100,000 plus people around the world. So Dr. Bob, thank you so much. Thank you guys. See you on Tuesday for Ask the Doctor Health Call.